Hello boys and girls, it's Mrs. Pam over here again and today it's time for a new story. Shark in the Park on a Windy Day by Nick Sharrett. It's a wild windy day and a certain small boy is out with his dad and his favourite toy. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope tries looking through his telescope. The wind blows his scarf, the wind blows his hair. He's blown this way and that way. But Tim doesn't care, because this is what he sees. Tim knows that shape and he knows what to do. He shouts, shark in the park. Can you shout that too? Eek! It isn't a shark that Timothy sees. It's a big black umbrella caught up in the breeze. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope looks again through his telescope. The wind blows his scarf, the wind blows his hair. He's blown this way and that way, but Tim doesn't care, because this is what he sees. Oh dearie me! Tim's got no choice, he shouts, shark in the park! At the top of his voice. Phew, what a relief! It isn't a shark, it's a big friendly dog with a big friendly bark. Woof! Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope has one last look through his telescope. The wind blows his scarf, the wind blows his hair. He's blown this way and that way, but Tim doesn't care because this is what he sees. Timothy does what he knows he must. He shouts, shark in the park, till his fit to bust. It isn't a shark that Timothy spied. Help! It's a runaway pram with a baby inside. And it's heading for the pond. Oh no! But Tim's dad runs fast. He grabs hold of the pram. The mother says, Thank you, how grateful I am. Really? Says Tim's dad. You ought to thank Tim. He spotted your pram. It's all down to him. was exciting, says Tim. By the way, it's a good job there weren't any sharks here today. Or were there? I'll try and see what I can spy with my telescope. You can try and make a telescope and see what you can spy, boys and girls. Until next time,